Where Notre Dame should be around this corner. Oh, 10 euros for a couple in there, babe. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Good morning, welcome back to Paris. This is Paris vlog number two. So plans for today, we are gonna go and venture over to Notre Dame. So we're gonna get the Metro. Is it two metros? We've got to change, yeah, sure, haven't we? One change. One change. Um, the Metro service here has been so easy. I think I mentioned that in the last vlog, but yeah, getting around, it's been really easy. And we've, we've just figured out, we've spent like 11 euros a day on metros just getting for both uh, of us, not even. yeah for both of us which is really good uh, anyway we are going to go to Notre Dame then we're going to go and do some shopping so we're going to go to Galleria Lafayette um have a look around there go to Sephora so yeah it's a shopping slash let's go and look at Notre Dame we're going to go to Moulin Rouge tonight and um, find somewhere nice for dinner and just enjoy our last day in Paris because we go home tomorrow. So, right, let's go and get the metro to Notre Dame. So we have got off the metro at City, that's the stop, and we're just now heading to the Notre Dame. It's really quiet around here. There's a market, you hear all the birds, We've got like a pet market over there, just as we got off the metro. Um, and the Notre Dame should be around this corner that way oh there it is i can see it i can see it there. just there are we off <laughs> huh? no we have to go right to it All right. they're still restoring it after the fire and I guess this is telling us all about how they're planning on restoring it. It's a really nice square here, isn't it? It's really quite picturesque. All the Parisian buildings over there. I love Parisian architecture. It's just so pretty. You just know you're in Paris. All the buildings. Yeah. You could be anywhere, like in the city, and just know that you're in Paris. across a, a bookstore, we've got posters, oh, Kenny looked interesting, oh, Kenny but Right, we have now arrived at Galleria Lafayette, let's go and have a look around the department store, last time I came here was Christmas with Kyla like three years ago and Sephora's over there. For those of you that watched that vlog, do you guys remember that they had all the protests and Sephora was all boarded up and all the protests were going along here? Anyway, let's go inside. Chris looks thrilled. Thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Yeah, the tree was in the middle when we came last time. Yeah, it was hanging, it was like suspended. Oh, look at that Gucci bag. Oh, 
Some lady's getting one all wrapped up in there. Just made a purchase. Oh, I like that one with the different with the different colours. With the stripes at the top. That's different. Ooh. I think we might have a little cup of coffee here. Because the view is so nice. Going up to La Terrace. There's a 180 degree viewing point up here. Let's go. Oh wow. Look. Is that Eiffel Tower? Wow. I never came up here last time. Come up to the 180 degree viewing deck at the top of Galleria Lafayette. And get a little view of the Eiffel Tower and of the city. Like I said, it's not very high rise -y. No. You get the odd one. Like the far distance is like a load of like town blocks. But other than that, they're not allowed. Them. No. Yeah, all along the distance. But in here, everything's got to be, everything's the same height. Not like London. Except obviously like churches and that maybe get a bit of a... They're allowed to go by one, isn't they? This is just pointing out Notre Dame. All the way over there, where we were, a couple of hours ago. Oh my god, be careful. These are cute, they're like paper skylines and domes. I mean, they're, they're very expensive, I don't know if that'll focus. There we go. Clever though, they look really cool. I've got a London one here, look. Oh, that's cool. That one. That is very cool. I love that. That's so nice. You mean you don't want the naked lady? I mean, that would be quite cool as well. I do like it together as well. That'd be good in a bedroom. Oh, well, no, maybe not in a bedroom, actually. But yeah, that is very cool. Pretty funky though. I'd have a lavender colour washing yeah. machine. Successful little shop. Do not be fooled by the big bags. I asked for the big bags. I bought mum a lipstick, but I've got a massive bag. <laughs> and I bought myself a lip liner. I'll show you when we get back to the room. And we got some biscuits and things for work so it is several hours later and we are just getting ready to go out for dinner tonight we are going to go to a restaurant called bellamy which is like literally just down the road from moulin rouge and then we get to see the moulin rouge umbrella or not umbrella windmill all lit up um later on but yeah so we're all we're just getting ready to go out for dinner i'm craving vegetables that was Chris's suitcase dropping on the floor with all of the biscuits <laughs> that we bought to take yeah. home oh, for work. The They're okay. The I'll best anyway. Yeah, exactly. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I feel like I didn't vlog very much in the shops today in Galleria Lafayette. It was just it was so bustly and really noisy. It's like so many mixed sounds in there. I just I didn't really want to vlog. Uh, same again in Sephora, um, but. I will show you what I bought, so let's do a little haul. Firstly, let's show you the broken biscuits that we're now taking to work. Uh, so we got, because you have to take biscuits to work, don't you? You have to take something back whenever you've been away. And so me and Chris got a pack of these, like, waffle biscuits. Like, half chocolate-covered waffles, Maxims. We've got two of those. Um, we've got some nugget, different flavoured nugget. Uh, and then we got some, um, they're like shortbread biscuits, Pepite Chocolate. So little tiny biscuits. And then some coconutty ones, Rocher Cocoa, coconut ones. Uh, and then I got this tin, mainly because I really like the name of it, because this was my nan's name, although my nan's name was spelt slightly different in Italian, but she was Nan Angelina, and I just... 
I loved seeing like all of the all of the different things with her name on and so I chose this box it's actually got biscuits in so they are um dark chocolate little crisp biscuits um but I'm gonna I'm gonna this is for me this is not for work I'm gonna keep the tin and put some bits and bobs in there but such a sweet little tin as well it's like a 1930s art deco style tin like powder blue tin um that was i think that was 10 10 euros for that and then the biscuits were like five euros four euros something like that so that's what we got from galleria lafayette food wise and moving on to these bags here like i said don't be don't be fooled by the big bags i asked for the bags <laughs> although they did give me a bag in chanel um, but i bought the tiniest bit of makeup uh i figure this is going to be like a tradition now because when i came to paris with kyla i bought a lipstick from chanel uh today i bought a lip liner and i feel like next time i come to paris which i'll tell you about shortly um i'll buy something else from chanel it's just going to be like a little tradition that i do anyway let me show you what i got so this is what i actually purchased a lip pencil i feel like the packaging is quite excessive for this for a for a pencil but anyway um i got a lip pencil in number 178 rouge cerise uh there was another color that i really loved it was like a raspberry color um but they didn't have any stock of that so i chose this one and it's it's like a red i mean you can't go wrong wrong with a red lipstick oh my goodness i've just realized you get a, sh a pencil sharpener to go with your lip liner a chanel pencil sharpener hello let me get this out well, look at that. Check me out with my fancy Chanel pencil sharpener made in Germany. <laughs> that should be made in Paris, surely. <laughs> anyway, here is my uh, lip pencil. And Chris, guess what? Movie pants. No, you're not in your pants. It's double-ended. Way. Light in here is terrible. But anyway, here is one end. So there's the pencil end. So I've got a red like a like a dark red rather than a bright red so there we go that's my chanel lip pencil that i got uh, i also got some freebies so i got a um i think this is a, a smoothing cream or firming cream a little tube of that some uh, lipsticks or a red like tester lipstick uh in the shade um rouge poussin 854 uh, maybe that'll go nicely with the lip pencil. Oh, no, though. The red's a bit brighter than the lip pencil, look, you can see. Uh, and then I've got a eye cream, a Chanel eye cream. So that's what I got from Chanel. These were freebies, but I didn't realise you got a pencil sharpener. Fancy. So that's what I got from Chanel. And then from YSL, <laughs> I got <laughs> a bag in a bag. I got mum a lipstick. Plus some little freebies as well. I like giving out a few little freebies when you buy something. So I got her one of the Rouge Volupe Shine lipsticks in the shade 86 Mauve. Mo, no, ma, mo, oh. So I got her one of the Rouge Volupe Shine lipsticks in the shade uh, 86 Mauve mauve coeur let me just open that up uh, i wanted one that was like not very bright because she doesn't do bright lipsticks um she likes more sort of neutrally pinky shades um so i got her this one although it looks really dark on camera and also in person but honestly i mean i'm not going to swatch it because this is her lipstick and i'm not gonna you know it's her present um, but it actually it's quite a nice sort of dusky pink uh, and it's nice and shiny and I think she'll like it and the packaging is always very pretty on YSL lipsticks um, so I got her that and then the little freebies that you get uh, I got a foundation so it's an all hours foundation and a black opium little tester perfume which smells amazing actually this smells like a nice sort of you'd wear it on a night out it's like musky um yeah really really nice so yeah so that's what i got for mum and then last but not least from sephora i bought four things from sephora and these are well one of the items i mean i don't really need to fill you in on this i just i just buy these as and when i mean i know i bought one in edinburgh 
um, but I've got another one so this should last me now or the ones that I got from Edinburgh and then this one they should last me till my birthday probably um, so I got another Kat Von D um, liner and then I treated myself to a few other things, uh, including another Kat Von D product. This is a mascara. This is the Go Big or Go Home mascara. And this is a little one. This was 12 euros. I like trying out the smaller mascaras just in case I don't get on with it and I don't want to spend, you know, the full price. These are really good. I've done it before with... Um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, I've had um, other little ones as well like um, It Cosmetics, that kind of thing. So we'll try that. I mean, according to the picture, should make my lashes, you know, like that. But we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I got a brush. This is a multi-textures, multi-tasker brush. But this is the brush that um, the woman in the store used to apply this. I've wanted to try this for ages. They do the filter one, don't they? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I've got the shade number four. There we go, number four, neutral. And so I actually tried this on um, in the store. She put a little bit on just to color match me. And this is really heavy coverage. You do not need a lot of this. Uh, they do the other one, don't they? The, is it filter? filter perfection i want to say i've got it completely wrong maybe um but that's more of a um like a it's, it's like shiny it's like highlightery uh, and so i went for the classic airbrush flawless foundation and i've put a little bit on tonight and i'm liking it so we'll see how that goes i've put a tiny bit on tiny tiny bit on but the lighting is just terrible it's really orangey and you know but i put a little bit over the top of what i already had on um and it feels really nice so yeah so that's it that's everything that we got today um right chris are you ready yeah should we go and get the tube yeah. or two tubes is it two tubes two. two tubes to the moulin rouge <laughs> chris has bought tickets in all five languages now haven't you you're a professional ticket buyer so we are here at Bellamy. My food looks amazing. I've gone for yakitori chicken skewers with rice. I've got a side of vegetables because I've just I've been craving vegetables. I haven't had vegetables for ages. Because it's got pizza again. That's a pretty fancy pizza. <laughs> pizza and chips. That looks good though as well. Mm, it's nice. I am starving. We have not eaten since we had that bit of cake at Galleria Lafayette and that was our lunch basically so I am hungry. So here is the Moulin Rouge by day. We have just been wandering up and down this area. It's basically just sex shops and bars and lap dancing places and peep shows. It's a bit like Amsterdam. It's like, like Amsterdam. the red light district. It is maybe a red light district area. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, just Shop upon shop upon shop. Yeah, there's families walking around here. Yeah, I know, it's weird. I'll tell you what else is weird. Just spies over here in this sex shop. An Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And Viva La France. Sex shop, porno shop, toy star shop. Yes. So you got the in there. Oh, 10 euros for a couple in there, babe. Wow. Can you see, look. Okay. <laughs> now we're just sitting here with everyone else <laughs> opposite the Moulin Rouge waiting for it to get dark. Imagine living in those flats there. <laughs> I wonder if they're expensive because of the view. And here it is by night. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? Right, time to leave the Moulin Rouge, go back to our hotel, pack, and get ready to go home.
so it's now a week later we're home we've had a full week at work um it's the weekend now it's glorious sunshine it's been so nice today we've just been in the garden um chris made a nice peach tea for us um it's Eurovision tonight, so we're going to have a little Eurovision party, as we normally do. Um, I'm seeing Kim tomorrow, so we're going to go for a spa day. Um, but yeah, I thought, <laughs> I thought I'd better end this little second Paris vlog and say goodbye. Uh, we had the most wonderful trip, and I cannot wait to go back. Um, and in fact, I think I alluded... Oh, I'm out of focus. I alluded to the fact that we will be going back. My plan is to go back to Paris with mum at Christmas time. She doesn't know anything about this. I want to surprise her. Um, so yeah, I've been looking. I've seen a hotel that I want to book. I'm going to book it and it's going to be her birthday present. Her belated birthday present because I did promise to take her to Paris for her 60th two years ago. <laughs> um, but it's only now that she's really thinking about wanting to travel so I'm going to take her to Paris for Christmas. Um, so that's what that trip will be. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so we had a really, really good time. Um, and I can't wait to go back at Christmas time because Paris at Christmas is always wonderful. I went with Kyla a few years ago now and they had the Christmas market and it was just really lovely, really cold, but really pretty and beautiful. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will be back with a weekly vlog next week. Yes, they will be back. I'm going to start filming them again. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it actually. I feel like I've been a little bit hit and miss on the channel at the moment. I think it's because we've been here, there and everywhere. And I've had like Edinburgh vlogs and the Paris vlogs. And I haven't really filmed anything in between. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting back in the saddle as it were filming some weekly vlogs some other bits and bobs for you um so yeah i will see you guys in my next video take care have a lovely rest of your week and i'll see you guys soon bye and i wonder are we gonna do well in eurovision tonight we have pretty good odds let's see